yeah mr suryadas sudhakaran hearty congratulations on securing all india rank of 5 in production and industrial engineering branch of engineering in gate 2022 thank you sir yeah mr suryadas please tell us uh, what coaching program that you have availed from our as engineering academy uh, actually i have availed the esc technical coaching uh, for mechanical engineering and also production engineering gate uh, test play series yeah i think we have that uh, gate plus esc program is there oh ah, yes sir that program we have availed uh, right yeah uh, in fact we have six uh, months uh, subscription one year subscription like that so which subscription you have taken in our deep learn one year subscription sir one year subscription of our recorded classes right yeah recorded classes recorded classes okay uh, Surya Das said, tell me how this ES Academy recorded classes of uh, coaching, what you provide through Deep Learn, helped you in cracking this exam and getting such a good rank all India 5? Uh, like the recorded classes were quite good because like we can rewatch some videos. Like I am uh, I am from uh, production background. So there are some technical subjects like thermal, etc., which I am not quite thorough with. So like I need to watch it two or three times. So watching record lectures was easy for me. Okay. Uh, I think um, totally around uh, some 600, 700 hours of uh, recorded uh, classes are there. Did you watch all those classes? Yes, sir. There are a total of 1,300 plus hours for oh, sorry, ESC. Right. Uh, because if you add the ESC, also will come more than 1,000 hours, right? 1,300 hours. Mm, like also, I, was... I am in currently in the fourth year. So, mainly I will be having academics okay. on the forenoon session. And like yes. on the night, too, I used to watch recorded videos. Yeah, because you have gate plus ESC. That's the number of hours are more than 1,000 hours we have. Yes. So, you said that you are pursuing final year. Yeah, final year. So, did you did you watch all these 1,000 plus hours of uh, recorded yes, classes? I completed that entire course. Okay. Tell us, uh, Sudha Suredas, how could you schedule all these classes, uh, listening, preparing against at the same time attending your uh, college coursework and all? How could you manage all this? Can you please elaborate? Actually, I uh, started my preparation during the COVID phase. So it was mainly online, the college classes were. So uh, the college classes were easy to cope up because uh, very limited hours, were, contact hours were there, um, like three to five hours daily. So I will be start uh, till afternoon. I will be spending time for colleges, doing homeworks, etc. On the morning time itself, project assignments, lab records, etc. Then after that, coming to the uh, evening time, uh, starting from somewhere around 2 p.m., I will be started to watch the record lectures. Till around 8 to 9, I will be completely uh, watching the recording lectures and making long notes. From after dinner, I will be focusing on uh, revision and practice on daily. Okay, so you mean to say that uh, daily from 2 o'clock to 8 o'clock, you used to spend time on your uh, gate preparation exclusively. Yes, sir. And, and also you said that uh, while uh, watching these videos, you have prepared some long notes also. Yeah, watching uh, videos, I will make long notes. After that, while revising, I will try to make it short so that I can revise at the end. Achha, you have prepared two notes now, right? One long yeah, notes no, no. watching the videos. Other one is a short notes while revising that one. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, that's fine. See, did you find a sufficient time to write the notes while watching simultaneously the videos also? Uh, some like that is a more advantage of recorded classes. Like we can pause in between. Like if we think we miss something, we can go back and watch again. Yes, so, the flexibility is there, right? Yeah, more flexibility. Is there. And if you want, you can watch it 1.5, 1.75, 5, two times. Yeah, like some the, simple topics are like aptitude, etc. Et I was watching at two into speed because ah. we can cover it very easily. Okay. Then when you are watching it 1.5 or 2x speed, uh, how could you find time to write notes also? Is it, like, was uh, it possible for you? No, uh, there are some portions like aptitude, etc. Mainly question solving will be there. So okay. like we can solve faster than the faculty. So playing it in 2 into speed is no problem. But coming to technical side, it is always better to watch it in 1.5, etc. Depending upon your strong subjects. Okay, right, right. So, okay. So long notes while watching the video means uh, what points you used to write there? Uh, like for I was mainly preparing for ESE. So if gate was alone, we could have mainly focused on formulas. Gate is more numerical oriented. So mainly formulas and key concepts for gate. But for ESE, there can be theoretical questions also. So I used to make the long notes properly because my more objective was towards ESE. Right, right. Good, good. Okay. 
uh, you wrote this gate examination when you were in the third year or final year actually final I... year i am currently in fourth year currently you are in final year right final year. okay uh, mr suradas when did you start this uh, series preparation towards your uh, examination actually like second year onwards i had this idea like uh, my seniors and my faculties in college used to say that gate and engineering service are uh, good for like uh, finding a core engineering job but i was not that serious the campus life hanging out with friends etc okay i think my serious preparation was started on june 20th like i june remember, 20 means uh, when you were in the second year root semester third year third year third year, year, june third year root semester uh third year i think that was on s5 s5 or s4 the break between s4 and s5 okay right that time you started this preparation yeah serious preparation serious preparation totally how many months you, you would have made a preparation seriously for this like uh, from the june 20 itself i didn't started that preparation but i mm. made the syllabus like previous year questions etc mm. and i analyzed for almost 10 days properly like what i going to do and after that uh i started the serious preparation by that time the placement started to come to our campus mm. but i was mainly focusing on core placements only uh, like i am pursuing production and industrial actually the core placements are not that good uh, for production mainly students are getting placed in it and coding companies etc so i only wanted core that's the main reason why i put a lot of effort from july onwards okay that's fine suraj also so when you started june onwards means so probably you would had uh, what you call uh, around 6 uh, to 7 months of uh, preparation time is it yeah serious preparation of 6 to 7 months of time okay uh, do you suggest the students to be more or less the same amount of preparation or you want students uh, juniors to start something little bit early also what is no. your advice to juniors in this that regard primarily depends upon like self analyzing so i was quite confident that uh, actually i am maintaining a good gpa throughout from second year onwards so my fundamentals were strong so that i had that belief that even at 6 months or 7 months i could pick it up but if you are not that strong with your fundamentals it's always better to start early and like taking a coaching will also be even better because they will give you the right guidance in which path you should follow so if so very bright i don't prefer like they need much guidance they can go for it but always somebody is there to guide like we will not waste much time a path will be right okay good and one more suradas you said that while watching videos you prepared long notes at the end of the day while revising again you prepared some short notes etc short notes. so how you used to carry out the revision work the revision work at what frequency did you carry out uh, like i used to revise uh, weekly one revision will be there like weekly i used to give one test series so uh, actually i am very much lazy to revise so i will be giving the test series and i will be losing marks so i will be finding the key areas where i lose the marks and i will be selectively revising those areas only i started like that and at the end i what i used to do was very little formulas like each time i try to consolidate the short notes so that okay. at the end i only had merely somewhere around 27 pages to revise okay right and uh, surya das in the last one week of uh, preparation before the actual examination so what do you did in your preparation like for almost the last 3 weeks uh, actually that time covid was over and i came back to my campus so i didn't take up any notes or anything i primarily focused on previous year questions as well as the series only on solving the practicing more on practicing i was working on okay right uh, what was your strategy in the examination hall on the day of actual examination did you go with any prior planning etc to start so and so questions first or second like that actually, what did like, you exactly giving the test series we will be preparing a strategy like uh, we should make a strategy not depending upon what toppers do but rather on our comfortability so initially what i used to do that i used to watch like the as engineering toppers talks etc and i started experimenting with it but i came to know that it doesn't works for me so while taking the test series i developed my own strategy like i am very much comfortable with aptitude etc so i don't think i did it started with aptitude first i started with technical like after some time you will be feeling bored like we will not be having that enough speed because a three hour examination is there so we will be getting tired in between so till an extent where i am able to move i will be doing the technical then after that i will be switching to aptitude and coming back again so aptitude was something like a refreshment for me during the exam so you mean to say in the examination first you attempted non i mean technical part technical part and in between some aptitude just to get right. a refreshment 
okay was the time sufficient for you in the examination yeah actually i completed the exam in three series like first i uh, technical part like aptitude every anyway it will, it will be more or less easy and the average so we can solve it very easily but the technical part i solved easy questions first because it doesn't depends upon the difficulty of the question rank depends upon the number of questions you are getting correct so i don't want to miss any sitter like easy questions so i completed the easy questions first then i go for a second round with average difficulty questions and at the end most difficult questions even i have left two questions which are completely difficult okay so for your production engineering this fifth rank means how many marks you got 87.67 87.6 marks good good so only two questions you have left out you said right yeah one two more question and one more question ah okay three marks you have left out total three marks right uh, very good uh, surya das uh, right uh, so it does from your experience right when you start preparation from the third year right you cracked the uh, exam in the final year again you are focusing something towards uh, what you call engineering services. engineering services but being a one of the highly successful candidate in the gate examination so from your experience you said some points what points do you advise your juniors to crack this examination like a I will depend, you should have a strategy depending upon the exam first, which you're focusing, a gate or ESE, then you should be uh, depending upon the exam, you should first make an idea about the syllabus, then look in the previous year's question papers and find out the weightages, which all topics are most important, least important, etc. Then put more effort on like more important topics. Uh, equally, practice is very much necessary. Practice and revision are almost like 60 percentage of the exam preparation but uh, completing the syllabus is only somewhere around 40 percentage of your preparation so i will suggest them to more practice more as well as revise more okay one more about you said that uh, prioritizing the subjects right yes sir so for example you take your production and industrial engineering so which subjects you you, you, want, you should give more priority like for production like mainly it comes to machining uh, metrology etc so when we look it down something like uh, there are manufacturing processes which as well as metrology is having almost the same marks but manufacturing processes are comparatively somewhat tough to solve like there will be one or two difficult questions but metrology it will be merely very easy and you can complete the syllabus very fast so likewise you can you need to as well, like you should have an idea about the marks as well as the difficulty of questions being asked in that area if you really know that preparing those easy questions areas first and focusing on the difficult areas later will be better for you in exam. Okay, one more uh, Surya Das. Uh, we have this in examination, this uh, virtual calculator, right? Yes, sir. So you are so comfortable with that? Yeah, like uh, during test, the initial phases, I used to lose marks, like making silly calculation mistakes, etc. Because we are a habit of using scientific calculator in colleges. Mm. So I think uh, in third year itself, like I started to give the test series. That time itself, I used to use only virtual calculator for writing the test series itself. Yes, in the yes, test series, we provide that virtual calculator. Yeah, there will be a calculator in the side. So that helped you a lot, right? Yes, sir. Okay, good. So finally, Suredas, you said uh, your main focus is uh, engineering services, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Then, um, so no idea of joining any MTech program or any PSC job as such? No, actually, I'm only looking for a job right now. Right now? Okay, right. But you'll be right uh, making efforts to crack this IAS exam finally, right? Yes, sir. Okay, right. Uh, good, uh, Suridas. I once again congratulate you. Thank you, sir. For uh, achieving such a good rank in this uh, gate examination, All India 5. And also, we wish you all good luck in all your future endeavors. Thank you, sir. God bless you, Suridas. God bless you. Thank you, sir.